Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna open up the box, this way, the box by Fashion Stuff. Fashionsta is a monthly beauty subscription box. It comes with five to seven items and they are always full size. And the retail value is between $80 and $150. It costs you $24.99 to get this box. Fashionsta has honestly been one of my favorite boxes. They have some shipping issues. That's kind of my only real complaint. They always have really good quality products. I feel like their customer service is really good. And so far, all the boxes that I've received have been cruelty-free. They do not promise that their box will be 100% cruelty-free on their website. I think they used to before, but there's no information about that now saying like this is a cruelty-free box. But so far, I have not received an item in the box that is not cruelty-free. That's really important to me on this channel. And if it's important to you, it might be a subscription that you would want to consider. We have our little card here, our little stuff in here. Right on the top, it says that they do donate. They donate to a local nonprofit 1736 Family Crisis Center. It's a nonprofit in the Southern California area and it helps families in crisis, just like it says, Family Crisis Center, that are victims of domestic violence or human trafficking. So we love that. We love it when a box gives back as well. So reaching right in, I found something already that I know I'm going to love. If you watch most of my unboxings or anytime a product comes up that has coffee in it or green tea in it or cat caffeine in general. I'm all about it. I believe caffeine is like one of the best ingredients for your skin. Here we have from Fig and Yarrow Apothecary, Eye Bright Coffee Bean Eye Cream. Very cute little glass bottle, which I love when my skincare comes in a glass bottle. Next up, I have a We Are Wild Solid Block. It has some Japanese writing right here, so I'm assuming it's a Japanese brand. It says Active Cannabis Plus Plus. I honestly don't know what this is intended to be. Solid Block to me sounds like it might be sunscreen. For application, it says apply as needed over face before daytime activity. Not 100% sure what this does yet, but we're gonna figure it out. Probably sunblock. Solid block to me sounds like sunblock. Next item is from Habit and it says the ultimate multi-use cream color made with 75% organic ingredients. Already love that. High performance makeup that is as clean as it gets. All of these brands, I haven't really heard of the brands, but they always end up being pretty good quality. So I'm hoping that that continues. But this is the color we have here. It says it's a multi-use cream color. So you probably could use it on your eyes, your lips. I just did that backwards, your lips, your eyes, your cheeks, wherever you want this like rosy color. Next up we have a sponge and it says air sponge full coverage. I'm pretty picky about my sponges, so this will be fun to try. It's from the company Base Blue. Another skincare in glass container, love that. This is from Moon Slice Beauty, and it says Moonshine Super Fruit Facial Oil. I am all about facial oils. I do have oily skin. Oily skin is about balancing that oil. Your skin is producing too much oil because it thinks it needs that much oil, but if you're putting oil on your skin, it actually balances it so your skin stops producing the excess oil that it thinks it has to produce. Oils are actually really good for oily skin. Do not be afraid of oils. Just make sure you get good quality oils and that you introduce them slowly. Then the last but definitely not least is from The Beauty Crop. This is their Sun Gazing Palette. It says it's an eyeshadow palette. So this palette is a shimmer palette, a glowy palette. There are two mattes. It looks like there are seven shimmery colors and three pressed glitters. So this is kind of like my dream palette. I wish there's a little more color in it. It's a little bit too neutral for me, but I love anything shimmery on my eyes. Like honestly, love and glitter. You know how I feel about glitter. I love glitter. Love this, can't wait to try that. So our box, we got six items. I'm gonna go research those six items. I will come back in a few moments we will come back with a naked face and we will try it on while I tell you what I found out. 
a few moments later. We are back with a naked face and it is time to start using our products. For the Eyebrite Coffee Bean Eye Cream, this product is handmade. It says that they're based in Colorado, so I'm assuming it's made in Colorado. These are some of my favorite ingredients actually, both green tea and caffeine. I love putting that around my eye area. If you have sensitive eyes, you might not want to put anything too strong around that area, but it does help with puffiness. It does help with making it just look so much more youthful. This product and actually all the products in this box, so you'll hear me say it more than once, did not have enough reviews available online. For the Moon Slice Moonshine Oil, first of all, this smelled amazing. It smells like tropical passion fruit, some apple, it just, oh, it smells so good. It smells sweet. The one thing I don't love about it is that the first ingredient is coconut oil. The way that oils work is every face has its oil preference. Everybody has the oil that their face takes a liking to. This one just happens to not be mine. But it does have squalane in it. It's a bamboo-derived squalane. It helps your skin to lock in essential moisture. And it has passion fruit oil. That's kind of one of the scents that I get when I put it on. It also has watermelon seed oil. According to the brand, this is good for all skin types. So like I said before, if you have oily skin, it can work for oily skin as well. And this is made in the USA. This also did not have enough reviews available online. The next product is the We Are Wild Solid Block. And yes, this is a sunscreen. It is TSA friendly because it comes in a solid form, non-toxic, vegan, and cruelty free. And it is a mineral sunscreen with non-nano titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. It also has hemp seed oil and resurrection plant, and it has lavender. I really thought the scent of this was really nice, and it kind of smelled a little bit minty to me as well. It smelled like lavender, but it had more of a minty scent to it. Hopefully it's really good at protecting against the sun as well. This product also has a hemp oil in it. I don't smell that in this product, so I love that because I do like the benefits of hemp oil. I just have never liked the scent of it. The solid block is vegan, non-toxic, cruelty-free, and this is made in Korea. So the Air Sponge from Base Blue, this is their Air Sponge full coverage. So they actually have different types of coverage. I honestly do believe this gave me full coverage. It feels different than other beauty blenders or beauty sponges. It absorbed the water really well and it wasn't hard, but it has a little bit more of a bouncy feel to it. Like I felt like it was extra bouncy on my face. I don't know a better word to describe it than bouncy. I really like the shape. I really liked the coverage. Actually, I'm a full coverage girl, so I think that it really did that. For the sun gazing palette, they say this is inspired by the sun. It has 12 different shades. There is a nice matte, some metallics, and then glitter. I personally would say the performance is good. It blended well, it was pigmented. The glitter stayed on even without glitter glue. The only thing I don't love about this palette is the color variety. The color variety is so bad. Just looking at the palette, I felt like there wasn't too much going on there. Like it was just, everything was really similar. And then I swatched it and three of the shades to me are negligibly different. So that might just be personal preference, but yeah, for me, it was lacking a lot in having any variety. I feel like they could have done so much more with sun, like a little more yellow, like have a, a matte yellow shade or something like that. The palette is talc free and mineral oil free. It's vegan, it's cruelty free. It's also formulated with coconut oil and jojoba oil. I think that is why the glitters performed so well. This product was made in China. For the Habit Plant Powered Beauty, the Ultimate Multi-Use Cream Color, I got the color Mod Squad. This is hands down the best one I have ever used. It blended so well. It feels amazing on my lips. Like it feels like it's moisturizing my lips as well. I did check out the ingredients list, of course, because I do avoid beeswax and I also avoid any petroleum based waxes. This product does have two waxes, but neither of them are the waxes that I avoid. It has the Candelila wax, that is a shrub, and it has the Carnaba 
I think I'm saying that correctly, <laughs> wax, and that is a tree in South America. They're plant-based and they are waxes that I'm willing to use on my lips, but really the feel is great, the color is great, and I feel like it blended out on my cheeks at first when I put it on my cheek, and then I was like, whoops, that was a little too much. So I had to blend that out, but it looks gorgeous now. Like it's just like a light flush of color on my cheeks. This product also did not have enough reviews available online. It is certified vegan, cruelty-free, gluten, and free and 75% organic, 95% natural. Again, I am so, so happy with this box. Like, it's unreal how happy I am with this box. Fashion Star, I think they're really like getting their act together. The last box I got, that is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes now. I don't remember the exact brand, but it was the Alondra Desi. I think it was Glam Light, Glam Light Alondra Desi. I use that all the time, I love it. I wouldn't say that I love, love this palette, but I do love this box and I will use every single item. So let's talk about money because it's important. At this point though, the total value of the box is the total value to me because I am gonna use everything. So we won't do that little part where I show you what I'm gonna use and what I'm not gonna use. For the Fig and Yarrow Eye Bright Coffee Bean Eye Cream, this is a 36 retail value. For the Moon Slice Beauty Moonshine Super Fruit Facial Oil, this has a $25 retail value. For the We Are Wild Solid Block Mineral Sunscreen with Active Cannabis, this has a $26 retail value. For the Base Blue Air Sponge in the Full Coverage Sponge, this is $8 retail value. The Beauty Crop Sun Gazing Palette is a $24.50 value. And the last product, Habits Multi-Use Cream, is a $28 retail value giving my box a total of $147.50 value, and I paid $24.99 for this box. Every single item in the box was cruelty-free, and more than half the box says they are certified vegan. Doesn't mean the other half is not certified vegan, it just, they didn't make that claim on their website. That is it, that is our Fashionsta The Box for July 2020. I love it. Do you love it? What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.